NBA great, Mr. Mitch Richmond, man, and we here at Fearless Magazine launch. I, I gotta know from you what it means to be fearless, because I know you was fearless on the court. Tell the people. <laughs> well, it's always good to be known as fearless, but uh, you know, we're here to, uh, you know, to represent, to represent the magazine. I've heard some good things about it, and we're looking forward to it. Now, interesting NBA year this year. You know, all the talks about what happened in Miami and the trades and stuff. And you came from a, a different time in NBA. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, do you think the move that they made is like uh, something that wouldn't have happened in your day? Um, you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm, I'm, I've seen a lot of uh, you know retired players talk about what they would have done. Uh, but to me, man, I think it's a great move. Uh, you know, I think. You know, he uh, he can he can write his own script, you know. He uh, he did a great job at Cleveland. He felt like they wasn't gonna win. Had an opportunity to join one of the greatest players in the game, uh, Dwayne Wade, uh, adding Bosch. And so, uh, why not? When you can have the money, the, the place you wanna go, and the city you wanna be in, uh, if you have those three things, why not do it? Right. I know he hasn't, you know, got over the hump and, and got that ring yet, and I, I mean, I know, I know you don't like. You probably don't like to speak on other people's game, but I mean, is there any advice that you would say to the team or what they might need to do to get through the playoffs with like, all this talent? Well, I think they started uh, doing the right things. I think that both of those guys start playing aggressive. Uh, they start looking to, to look for their shot first, and then kind of like uh, you know bring the team on as uh, if they shot if they don't have the shot, they can pass it to the other guy. Uh, but they've been aggressive. They're, the one thing they've been doing is right now of late when they've been winning games is uh, pushing the ball, getting on the fast break, getting some easy buckets because you know in the East you, you can't beat Boston playing a slow paced game. You got to speed it up. You know you, you you got the best guys in the game. There's no way that Paul Pierce. Um, Ray Allen and those guys should be able to guard Dwayne Wade and uh, LeBron James. So, you know, they have to make sure that they win that battle. All right. All right so, so what's going on with Mitch Richmond now? I mean, where, where can you tell the, your, all your fans out there, like, where, what, what, what you got going on right now? Well, I got some things cooking, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, look for me soon. Uh, you know, I got a, got a new product coming out. Can't speak on it now, but just look for it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be called Rock 2. Uh, and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be launched in January, and uh, and I'm still doing some things with the NBA, going over, you know, overseas, doing some basketball camps and stuff like that. So that's about it. Speaking of overseas, last question. I gotta I gotta ask about another NBA great, Allen Iverson. Yeah. Is do you do you feel any way that he that he might have been a little blackballed or shunned from the league because of some of his earlier perceived problems? Yeah, I think it was a time probably about three or four years ago he spoke on, you know, coming off the bench for a team, and he said he would never come off the bench. And I think guys and teams and organizations felt that as he wouldn't change his ways. You know, being an older player, I think you have to, you know, kind of be kind of like a, a guy to look, I mean, for the look, younger guys to look up to you, you know, to be a mentor, you know, to be a, to come off the, you know, come off the bench, help the young guys in any way possible. We know he still can score 18, 20 points a game, but it might take more, may, might take more shots, you know, and, and teams want to develop their younger players. So I think what he said in the last three or four years kind of hurt his chances, but I'm, I'm pretty sure he was looking to kind of come off the bench to do that, but they took it as he, he wasn't willing to change his ways. Well, right. Thanks for thanks Thank for the time, man. Sure. It's an honor to meet you, you. and take care, brother. Thanks for having me.